Hi everybody, welcome to this individual hole guide video for Pebble Beach, the brand new course in the game of Golf Clash here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Please hit thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to look at my replays here, I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing and give you some suggestions on how to approach this hole. We are on Pro and Expert Division, that is of course Middle T. Remember to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Here we go. On this par 4 we have a cross headwind in this example. I'm going to use a kingmaker. Of course you can use different balls here. Fairly straight par 4. We just want to get down as far as we can with the wind angle that we have. Uh, 5.8 top spin, 2 bars of side spin to the left. I would recommend you go with a kingmaker or a titan here. Now I'm backing up a little bit with my apocalypse uh, going from plus 4 to give myself room to adjust here so that I'm not pulling all the way into overpower all the time. Or this extra mile Thor's hammer or big topper if uh, you've got a newer account is fine. The adjustment is maximum distance 10% elevation. Now I'm going full overpower here. If you want to have a less shaky needle then you can of course use a higher power ball. Minor grates either side are going to be fine with an accurate driver. Obviously if you've got tailwind you're going to get very close if not on the green or end up with uh, a wedge or a putt. But most cases in crosswind or with any headwind, you're going to leave yourself a thorn or any short iron, of course. Now, I find the minimum distance line, then I'm pushing up rings from min to a point where I'm not going to need a lot of spin. Uh, try, try and play this close to no spin or one top spin uh, so that you're not messing around too much with the spin. Uh, in the end here, I pushed up, um, I think, about 20 rings. Um, but I'm playing true club distance. Now in the video, I play with 15% elevation. It's not enough in crosswind. I needed more. So in this wind angle particularly, I would go 25% elevation just because the crosswind is going to uh, affect the path of the ball a bit more. Obviously, tailwind, headwind, you could probably reduce to 20 or 15, leave the ball guide long or short. But it's 1% slider per ring. Um, decent chance for an eagle though if you can get to short iron, if not a very easy wedge or put in a good wind angle. Thank you for watching this whole guide video for Pebble Beach and don't forget to check out the rest of the course guide videos. They are on the channel homepage so go ahead and watch them and get yourself some decent preparations made for this lovely new course in the game. Good luck everybody, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. See you soon, bye for now.